Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer, and it's Thursday. Time to do some YouTube Q&A with you guys. David Stoll wrote and asked this. What exactly is the difference between playback locations and traffic sources? Great question, David. I wanna help clear up the confusion for you here a little bit. And for the rest of you guys who maybe are already familiar with this in your YouTube analytics, I wanna give you a pro tip for kinda of take your use of these statistics to the next level in developing your audiences. So for first of all, let's answer the question. If you go to your YouTube analytics, in the left sidebar you see these two options. One is for traffic sources and one is for playback locations. Essentially what it comes down to is playback locations is where people are watching your videos and traffic sources is how people are are discovering your videos. So are people finding you through search results? Are they finding you through related videos on YouTube? Or maybe they're finding you from an external website that's outside of Google. You can see all that and more under your traffic sources and even dig in a little bit, say, well, if people are finding me on an external website, which website are they finding me on? And which websites are sending the tr most traffic to my videos? But once they actually find your videos, then you can find out where they're actually watching them by looking at playback locations. And this is the location where the actual video playback occurs. So that is probably most commonly the YouTube watch page, which is the videos page right on YouTube with all the related videos, the ads, the comments below, you know, that's the, the watch page. But it could also be like an embedded view. Maybe someone watched it embedded into Facebook or into another website or on Twitter. Or maybe there's an external app that people are using to watch your videos also. There's a lot of different playback locations that could exist. So the two together can help you discover how people are finding your videos and then where they are watching them. One great use of this might be to discover what website has embedded your video and is sending you like a lot of traffic. And then you can reach out to that website and say, hey, thank you so much for sharing my video, really appreciate it. And maybe you can start like a long-term relationship with them. They're like, yeah, thank you so much for reaching out. We love your stuff. And then you can maybe send them other future videos that they will embed for you and share for you. It's way easier to build relationships with websites and people who are already sharing your videos as opposed to kind of go in cold turkey and be like, hey, you don't know who I am, but here's my videos and maybe you'd want to share them. I have a tip I want to share with you guys about how you can use this data on some very practical levels. But first of all, I want to thank this month's sponsor here at Video Creators, FameBit.com. Guys, if you want to make more money on your YouTube channel by doing brand deals, by finding companies who will pay you to talk about their products and services inside your videos, FameBit is definitely the place to go. You can just browse through their entire marketplace of brands and companies that are there. Pick one that fits you and your personality and your audience and your channel. Send a proposal proposal to them, land that brand deal, make that video, and get paid to do what you love. So check them out. Link to them is in the description below this video. You can easily click it, go over there, check it out. You do need a thousand subscribers or more. So if that's you, definitely click that link and go check out famebit.com. One quick little pro tip for you guys is at the very top of the page on traffic sources, there's a little box there that says show subscriber views only. And if you check that box, the page will update to reflect traffic sources from only your YouTube subscribers. And this is helpful to know how your subscribers are actually engaging with your content, how they're discovering you, how they're finding you, and it lets you kind of separate your overall data from just your subscriber data. And the most valuable use of that data for me is to see when you guys, as my subscribers, are most engaged with my content. As you can see here on this graph, the ups and downs of when you guys actually watch my content is drastic. And it also shows me that most of you guys are finding my content through the YouTube guide, which is helpful for me to know where to invest most of my energy and efforts into promoting my videos and since it's the guide, you guys are finding it just fine on your own, but you should because you're YouTubers, right? You know how all that works. So hopefully that clears that up for you a little bit, David. I would love to hear from the rest of you guys in the comments below. How do you use your playback locations and your traffic sources analytics to help you craft better content and know, you know maybe better when to publish or whatever? How do you use that data? Definitely would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I've shared with you some of my ideas and I'd love to hear some of yours. If this is your first time here, guys, I would love to have you subscribe. Every Thursday we do some YouTube Q&A just like this to help you guys out with the audiences that you're growing and the YouTube channels that you're developing. Also on Tuesday, we do some YouTube news where we look at all the updates and changes happening to this platform. Talk about what it means for us as creators. And then every Wednesday, give you guys some YouTube tips, ideas, suggestions, advice, things like that. Guys, I do all this because I really believe that a lot of you guys have messages that need to spread, that the world needs to hear. And I'm gonna do everything I can to help you guys grow your channels and your YouTube audiences so that the people who need to hear you and find you can simply hear you and find you and hopefully have their lives be changed by the message that you are spreading. So thank you guys so much for letting me be a part of that. Subscribe and I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.